Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video lecture. In this video lecture, we'll study about uh, harmonics. We'll just have an introduction about uh, harmonics. French mathematician Jean Fourier formulated that a periodic non-sinusoidal function of a fundamental frequency f may be expressed as the sum of sinusoidal functions of frequencies which are multiples of the fundamental frequency so this is base of our harmonics what fourier has formulated is uh, we have any periodic non sinusoidal function that can be expressed as the sum of sinusoidal functions of frequencies which are multiples of the fundamental frequencies let us take a sinusoidal voltage and current function that is dependent on time t may be represented by following expression voltage function v time dependent that is t is equal to v sin omega t and same way for the current function we take it is equal to i sin omega t plus minus 5 capital v and capital i that is a peak value of the voltage as well as current we have taken voltage and current equation because voltage and current are the most important parameter when we discuss about power qualities where omega that is 2 pi f angular velocity of the periodic waveform and phi that is phase angle in voltage and current waveform plus sign indicates current is leading to the voltage waveform minus sign indicates current is lagging the voltage now we can see the voltage and current waveform by definition it is pure sinusoidal waveform and current is lagging behind the voltage and we can see the phase difference phi between voltage and current waveform we have voltage waveform sinusoidal we have peak value v we have current waveform peak value for the current that is i equation is given v t that is v sin omega t and i t that is a i sin omega t minus 5 2 pi f that is our angular velocity of the periodic waveform period t to complete the one cycle we require period t and that is a 1 divided by f and that can be 2 pi divided by omega now we take a one another waveform the waveform is periodic with fundamental frequency f but it is a non sinusoidal now this waveform can be represented by the fourier analysis or fourier series the fourier expression for the voltage waveform periodic non sinusoidal so it can be expressed as a vt is equal to v0 v1 sin omega t plus v2 sin 2 omega t plus v3 sin 3 omega t and so on it is a infinite fourier series and we can indicate with vn or vn plus 1 where v0 that is a constant or dc component of the non sinusoidal periodic waveform and v1 v2 v3 or up to vn that is peak value of the successive terms and these terms are known as a harmonic of periodic waveform we can see that uh, we have different uh, waveform voltage waveform with different peak and with different uh, frequency v1 peak value v1 so it completes a one cycle and that is known as first harmonic or fundamental waveform v1 sin omega t now we take a second peak value is v2 so it is v2 sin 
but now frequency we can see it is multiple in multiple to the fundamental and frequency is double when fundamental completes one cycle it completes two cycle so it can be expressed as the v2 sin 2 omega t and same way for the v3 peak value is v3 and when v1 or fundamental completes one cycle it completes three cycle so it is known as a third harmonic so fundamental second harmonic third harmonic and so on as we discussed it is an infinite Fourier series and in multiple of fundamental frequency it goes on and on but we can observe that peak values v1 to v2 to v3 it is decreasing the amplitude of the peak value as number of harmonics increase it is decreasing now to see the effect of a presence of harmonic frequency on any set of equipment what we do is we take individual harmonics and we do the addition of all the harmonic so in the waveform we can see that we have fundamental or first harmonic and then we have third harmonic so when one cycle of the fundamental completes third harmonics is undergone for the three cycles and now if we do the addition of fundamental as well as third harmonic then we have non sinusoidal waveform first as well as third both are periodic and sinusoidal function but when we add both the term then we have non sinusoidal periodic but non sinusoidal waveform and uh, we can see the graph or waveform that is a purely non sinusoidal that is the effect of the third harmonic on the fundamental wave now to simplify our fourier analysis we have an expression that vt is equal to vo summation of ak cos k omega t plus bk sin k omega t where k that is from 1 to infinite ak and bk that is coefficient of individual harmonic terms even function periodic even function that is f minus t is equal to ft in that case for the even function sine term vanish for the odd function meaning is f minus t is equal to minus ft cosine term vanish and we have simplified function for our normal analysis we will use the simplified expression involving sine terms only and we have coefficient for the simplified calculation we have coefficient a k and that is equal to 1 divided by pi and we have integration from minus pi to plus pi and we have function f t cos k omega t same way for the another coefficient that is b k we can have expression that is a 1 divided by pi and integration limit is minus pi to plus pi and function that is f t sin k omega t dt so this is basic uh, introduction what exactly we mean by harmonics and how non sinusoidal periodic waveform can be implemented with the sinusoidal with the summation of sinusoidal periodic waveform of different uh, frequencies and we have final non sinusoidal waveform with fundamental frequency the frequency remain fundamental thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much